Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first ever Silent J tutorial for Ableton on how to get the big mastering sound on your tracks with a few simple steps. If everything goes well, get a good response. This will be the first of many tutorials for you guys, and also getting into Dutch and Electro and Dubstep and what I know of those anyway, on how to get the good sounds. So, first thing first, let's jump right into it. When you're mastering in Ableton, if you notice, I have some of my tracks grouped together, my kicks. I'm not going to go too much into detail with the rest of the stuff. This is kind of my secrets. You never want to go any higher than 7.0 negative. And you always want to keep it at, never want to go infinite and zero unless it's a group track. You always want to go negative seven or negative six. What this does, it leaves you headroom for your tracks. So that way you're not getting any distortion, you're not getting any frequency bleeds. It just sounds like a really good clean sound and you're not just peaking out your levels. And you want to leave it that low when you're mastering because when you're mastering, you want to leave enough headrooms where you can blow up the sound with a loudness maximizer without having any distortion. So let's get right into it. I've adjusted all my other ones accordingly. These you can't really see because I have them hidden. And we're going to go over here to the master channel. Now what I use for mastering is the Isotope Ozone 4. Now you're going to hear my voice change a little bit. It's going to go from one to another. <clears throat> You'll hear it go from one side directly to the other. So what you're going to see here, if I can get it to work here, you're going to see my voice change, it goes distorted, it gets a lot lower. I won't do that to you guys right now, but so this is the one that I have preset already. So we're going to open up a fresh one. And here's the paragraphic equalizer. I turn most of these off to start. We're going to start with the loudness maximizer. You're going to hear the difference in my voice. You're going to hear the difference in the sound. Here's how the kick sounds. The kick sounds right now. All right, so we got the kick and the percussion. Right here. Simple, clean sound, still sounds good. Now we're gonna add the loudness maximizer to it. We're gonna activate it here. This is Isotope Ozone 4. If you haven't gotten it, I'd recommend definitely going to get it. Leave the mode on intelligent. DC offset filter on. Character smooth. Let's go a little bit fast and loud to 2.0. I'm going to threshold down to about 6.0. Don't want to go too loud. You can already hear my voice getting a little bit louder. Mastering reverb I try and stay away from until I'm at the last details. It just it distorts the track too much for me. It's personal preference. And you have the paragraphic equalizer. I use this mildly. I've learned in the future, in the past, that you don't really want to modify the track too much from the ma from the normal sound. I learned that from uh, my boss, Dan, Dan at Sonic, Master Sonic Masterworks. Can't talk tonight. So we're going to boost the levels a little bit here in the 20K range, the 110K range. And so it cleans up and gives my voice a little bit more of a crisp sound, but you don't want to boost it a little too much. Now, the most important part, we get the simple sound here. Sounds good, sounds clean. Turn on the multiband harmonic exciter. I'm going to add in a little bit of my, uh, let's see here, my pads as well so you can hear it. All right, so now that's the standard sound that I have here. This is normally at 100, by the way. So we bring it down to roughly around, I like to keep it at 38%. Boost this about 1.1 decibels. So this way you're only getting 38% of a 1.1 decibel boost on the band one. Band one is your low end. If you notice, you've got the graph here. If you need an explanation on your frequencies and how to get them set right, Google Future Music, a club tracks frequency map, and it gives you all you need on where each sound goes into each frequency pattern. Where to fit stuff so you don't get the bleed outs, you don't get the distortion, you don't get the frequency bleed out. And one of the most important things about house music I, realize, I have realized, compress everything to your kicks and your low ends. 
because the the kick is the driving force of the track and you want it to drive your track where everything else is just following right behind it if you get the right set of compression you'll have no distortion as long as everything is in its own frequency area so with that said we've got it on stereo now i like to put, keep it on mid side that's what i was told and it works well for me so we're going to go back to here mid is everything that's in front of you every frequency that you hear directly in front of you so without it on we've got a good clean sound so we're going to boost this 1.4 bring that down to 38 get a little bit of a cleaner bass already going to go to side i like to boost this up to nine and this maybe up to five you never want to boost the low end on the side frequencies. Why? Because low end is strictly front, front driving mono sounding force. You never want to keep it to the side areas. You never want to. It's like putting a reverb on a kick, on a low end kick, which is a very bad idea. It'll, it'll create some serious issues for your track. So if you got reverb, reverb on your low end kicks, take that reverb off your low end kicks. <laughs> Definitely recommend it. So with just this modification, let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> And we're going to turn it off. We're going to turn the equalizer off. The maximizer off. And there we are. That is the end of our first tutorial. Make sure you equalize everything to fit the, your track before you open up Isotone because Isotope Ozone 4 is your final step in getting a good, clean mastering sound. If you read up more on the tutorials on the Isotope Ozone 4, it'll give you exactly what you need, walk you through all the steps, and then it's got a great manual on it and exactly how everything works. So, hope you all enjoyed this. Leave comments, this is what you like, and I will upload more videos upon request. And thanks for listening. Outside. Outside. Outside.